Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, if you're a fan of the Muay Thai discipline, this guy just might become your favorite fighter on the roster. Real possibility that that's what you see tonight. Just the outstanding Muay Thai kickboxing game that he has really employed all the way en route to the UFC. Outstanding kicks, a lot of knees and elbows, punches from different angles, and any one of those could be fight enders at any given time. Scary proposition for the UFC veteran he draws here tonight. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. So here is Stockton, California's Nate Diaz on the UFC roster dating to 2009. He's finally started to realize some of the big paydays, and you can expect him to given that massive upset of Conor McGregor at UFC 196. Nate Diaz continuing to make waves here several years into his UFC career. Nate Diaz is a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter with an impressive record of submission victories. He's also got a very active and effective boxing style. Look for him to throw a huge number of strikes while this fight is on the feet. Tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Diaz is seven years his senior. He will have a two inch reach. It. You ready to fight? Ready. Fight now to the southpaw stance. Diaz gets hit with a kick. Oh, that flush right hand is true, Joe. Going orthodox now. Now he touches him with the left. Good kick to the body. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Massive head kick. Hurt him with that uppercut. Combinations here. Powerful right hand. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Head kick. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Oh! oh attacked him! This could be it! Oh, he might be out! From him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Oh, he missed that kick. Diaz gets hit by that leg kick. How about that shin? Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Big kick, but miss. And there's a nice jab. Oh, oh big shot. He's got him right here. And the chance of Diaz ring through the crowd. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. As his hook shot gets blocked, the defense saw that one coming. Oh! Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice. That one hurt. Oh! This could be it right here. Back to the feet. This fight is dangerous. Trouble. Vicious combinations. All right, 
there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Hard straight punch. Second oh. round, straight ahead. Oh. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Well, you got to start to change things up here defensively. Again, he gets clipped to the head, and again... He oh, nice! He's got him here. He's getting tagged. Lands a powerful kick. Oh! Oh, he got tagged again! He's hurt! He is... Gigantic spinning back fist for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, Darren So there's the... All right, coming up next, a good welterweight matchup here between Gunnar Nelson and Mickey Gall. So here is the undefeated New Jersey native, Mickey Gall. He has called his shot several times in the UFC, and when he has done so, he has emerged victorious. Beat CM Punk, rear naked choke. Did the same against Sage Northcutt back in December of 2016. We've also seen him make great strides when it comes to his striking. So Mickey Gall, evolving into a well-rounded mixed martial artist, will see just how far he can take this thing in the UFC welterweight division. This guy is a devastating Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical, and if you don't know how to keep up with him, he will set you up with one technique while you're defending another. So here's the proud Iceland native and welterweight contender, Gunnar Nelson doesn't cut any weight. A lot of people look at him, Joe, and think that's a frame of a 155 pounder. No need to cut the weight if you're realizing as much success up a division as Gunnar Nelson has realized. And set against Alan Joban, a fight he won by guillotine that he finally felt wholly comfortable in the UFC. Scary proposition to the rest of this 170 pound division. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding professional record of four wins, one loss. 
He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Mickey Dahl! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of record in Iceland, Gunner Gunner! The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment you here. You ready? Fight. We are underway. All right, so round one is underway here. No surprise, another big spot for Gunnar Nelson. It really wasn't until the Alan Joban fight that he felt like he really belonged with the division's elite. Oh! This is dangerous. up here. Oh, elbow to the head. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. This arm bar looks nasty. He might have to tap any second now. And his arm's free. Wow, very close. Side control. How about that shoot? Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hit there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, head on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with the strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. He got hit with the left hook. Straight right hand. No good. Yeah, that was a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes to go in the round. And he's looking for that left. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh! He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. That one hurt. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh! Big oh! 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 Thirty seconds to go. He's got him stacked here. He's got to be careful as he has him stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. It's over. Excellent move on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Listen, you can do this now. Once you go down, put your combination. Here's a powerful punch that devastates. And here's a different angle on it. Are you ready? You ready? Round two is on the way. Good shot to the body. Switching stances here. Really missed with that right hand. Wow! He's got him right here. Wow! Oh! He's out! He's out! Unbelievable! Gunnar Nelson has done it! 
Landed a big kick for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. And here we see it again. Boom! Wow! So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Gunner Gunny Nelson! All right, so congratulations to Gunnar Nelson and the entire SBG Ireland team here tonight. That's about as good an effort and as complete a performance as we have seen from Gunny in recent fights. And perhaps a signature win and a win of this magnitude will now position Nelson for a title shot. Tonight, though, the celebration is on for Gunnar Nelson. All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Ben Saunders. Well, you know the part. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are on the way. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Huge uppercut misses. Oh! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Nice head kick. McGregor's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Oh, strong punch there by Saunders. Conor McGregor gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Just misses with the straight leg. And he lands a nice kick. As McGregor gets caught with that punch. Oh, big shot by Connor. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding oh, 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 Huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt. Oh. oh. Saunders goes for the clinch now. Looks like a recovery mechanism here, Joe. Seconds to go in round one. He postures into place. Straight to the body there by Saunders. Mixes it up. There was a nice exchange. All right, 60 seconds now to go in round one. remain in the round. Damaging strike there. Nice defense there. Huge block. McGregor gets absolutely tagged by that stick. 
stiff jab. Tags him. Ten seconds. Shoot for the takedown here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And there is the horn. Gotta feel good going back to the stool after that round. Great round from Conor McGregor. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's see this again. And let's see that again. The... Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power in his punches, and... Has Whoa! Oh! He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. goes for the single leg. And he's going to try to take the back. He's got full guard here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Head kick. Whoa. Well, he's swinging oh. now. Nice shot. He's hurt. He's in big trouble. Oh, he might be out. There he swung with a haymaker. doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's got his arm trapped in between his legs. He's got that arm bar locked up. And here he wants to push down on his opponent's wrist and trap it into his ankle. He's got it. I think this is it. Stunning. And there it is. Stunning. And he really made it look easy. He was forced to tap. He got locked into that submission, and there was nowhere to go. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. All right, let's get it inside to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. for the leg. Excellent movement here on the ground. Looking for the choke. He's got the choke. And he's free of the choke. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. 
And he reverses position. Big oh. shots to the head. He's stunned. He's got him right here. Wow! Another shot. He's in trouble. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Very nice sweep. He's got the leg up. He's got that choke sunk in. This is going to be it. Getting tighter. That's it. That's it. That's it. Use excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here it is one more time in a different angle. Absolutely textbook, Gogo Plata, shin underneath the neck. All right, the official decision is inside. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Our tail. There you go, first one. You ready? Are you ready? Let's well, go. how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated. By oh! Doesn't get it. Oh! Yeah. Oh, beautiful! Nasty combinations here. Whoa. High kick! He hurt him! He's badly, badly hurt. Oh! oh. He tagged him! Oh! Oh, that's it! It's wow. over! He's out! Wow! Beautiful timing and execution for a knockout blow. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here it is again. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Jake Matthews and Santiago Ponzinibbio. So as this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about the... You ready? You ready? Let's go All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Kick lands for him there. 
and just misses with that big right hand. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Oh, hook to the head by Jake Matthews. And follows up with another one. Oh! Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, he moves right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Man. Oh! He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big, Big body shot. shot. To the body. Hard hook. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Just over two minutes to go. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Matthews. Well, oh, he's clearly in pain. He's trying to hang on there, but he is in big trouble. Wow. Big, big trouble here. Oh, he might be out. Hard inside leg kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Under a minute now to go in the round. is for how long let's take a look at some of the action in that round here and here a big shot lands and a knockdown and here another big shot lands and another knockdown and here another clean shot lands and another knockdown what an action-packed round it looked like it almost you ready? You ready? All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got blocked. If they continue, oh! oh this is He's clearly hurt. Oh! Oh! Wow! That'll do it. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he... All right, the official decision is in. Coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. 
As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunt. And the question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? The champion is in focus right now. Are you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC welterweight championship is up for grabs right now. Joe, nice head movement there. Slip that right hand. Oh, head kick blocked though by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Nice jab. Wow. Looked like it did start a little bit. Can he hang on? Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Well played on the head kick. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Under two minutes in the first round. Boy, he stepped into that one. Good defense there. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice inside leg kick there. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Under a minute now to go. How about that chin? Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Nice jab. That one hurt. Hard hook. And both guys really flowing with authority. Oh! oh the left. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Let's see it one more time. Great finish, great finish. Come on, hey. You feeling all right? Good. Listen, we almost finished him at the end of that round. Now, this is it. This is it. When the bell rip. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Nice kick to the body. Wow! wow! Man, has his chin been tested early. Very nice sweep. Hammer 
fish lands. Oh, big shot from the top. Posture's up. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Well, the other one oh, made to stun him. He is a haymaker. He's got him hurt here. All right, so there's the swing. Oh! Huge right hand. hand! He's in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. Oh, another one! Misses a oh. huge hook to the head. Punch coming, it's blocked. got him the victory. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Check out this angle here. And he's out. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of... All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by... about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world.